Hey guys, my name is uh, Solomon Jagwe. I am here to bring you a brand new tutorial. Uh, today I wanted to highlight a new feature that has been added to Premiere Pro. And it's a uh, virtual reality support, uh, 360 degree render support videos that can be rendered in uh, 360 degrees that can be viewed on uh, YouTube. And if you are a, me a, like a, a member of uh, the Adobe Cloud, <laughs> I believe you should see this update on your you know notification so it's a 2015.3 release but it's been labeled as a, a 2016 build so this feature has also been added to the the media encoder so let's walk through it um, previously you know in order to see virtual reality or VR rendered 360 degree videos on your desktop you you would you know download something like colorize for example right and how it works is you just drag and drop your file in here and you're able to rotate the you know with your mouse and look down so now this is a video but it's doing only one frame right so what adobe has done is they've incorporated this into premiere pro so that you can render the videos out for youtube and also for facebook so first let me uh, go to this video here and go to uh, modify interpret footage and I'm gonna ignore the alpha channel and I'm gonna drag and create a new sequence so here we go and this is our video so if I play back just a preview of it that's actually still okay hold on where is my video it's the video it's not playing oh there's a reason why it's not playing and I'm, I'm glad I actually made that mistake because this right here is a still image so I would have to import uh, an animated video so make sure when you're importing it's, it's an image sequence because that's what my file is supposed to be click open all right so we go through the same process here right click on it go to modify interpret footage and we ignore the alpha channel okay and actually let me do this let me delete guys because i don't need those just all this is all i need okay so now that i've brought the sky back i can drag and drop and create a new sequence So here's our sequence and I can scroll down as you can see it's a, a very wide you know display let's try to drag me 25% so it's a, the whole area of the video as I, I'm scrubbing here you can see the video playing backwards and what I did was I'm rendering each frame as a 360 degree render so it's a sequence of uh, like VR you know scenes to create this video okay so to enable that that feature that I was talking about you right click on the display here go to VR and settings and again that icon can be added by going to uh, cl clicking on the button editor and dragging and dropping this icon right here click OK and once you click that it toggles the VR display so there's a pack down here that you can use to rotate but you can also use your mouse you know to rotate around and what's really cool is that as the video is playing you're able to look around your footage <laughs> which is really neat you know because before you had to rely on other you know players outside but this is inside of Premiere Pro which is pretty pretty cool so thank you Adobe for adding this into uh, Premiere Pro so you wonder you know what do you do after this well, before I, do, I show you that um, let's go back to VR video settings and you can also increase the monitor as long as you could like 160 click OK so you're able to see even more of the scene and you just uh, use your mouse again to rotate now what's really what I'm looking forward to is the if Adobe adds something like editing 
these cameras that maybe in one camera you've zoomed in and another camera you know as you're layering this up you're looking in a different direction you know I think that would be cool to be able to edit those like sequences like that like you have like multiple cameras like on a dolly up in the air like a crane so anyway once you're done with this right then you need to export the, the footage into Adobe the media encoder so file um, export and media and it's gonna bring up the export settings here so by default it's gonna look flat just like we saw with the very first time we imported the video so what what you need to do is go down to the very bottom and you want to definitely this has to be an mp4 like uh, h264 sorry not mp4 h264 video h264 view and you can see the dimension 3840 by 1920 and you have to scroll all the way down and you have to enable video is vr this is extremely crucial and make sure it's monoscopic because if you don't do it will not be able to add the meta tag that uh, YouTube needs to be able to read this video as a 360 degree render of virtual reality so make sure this is checked if your video is not working and you've uploaded to YouTube and there's something not showing properly chances are this is what, where you missed it you, may, you have to make sure you export the video as VR okay I'm gonna go ahead and save this and then I'll, walk you, I'll show you what it looks like on uh, once I put it on YouTube so my video is done rendering and I've opened up my YouTube channel so I'll go ahead and uh, drag and drop my video here and it will go through and do its processing thing uh, uploading there's nothing really special that you need to do here except I'm gonna try to make this uh, private for now because it's just a test for the tutorial and I'll let it go through and do the, the uploading so once the video is done uploading uh, this is what it actually looks like now you know you're able to play it and you're able to rotate around now because of the compression for some reason you know YouTube is still working out the level of compression on Facebook as well but the video I mean looks great you're still able to you know look around just like as if you are in a helicopter and if you have a VR set you can definitely view this through your VR set and be able to look around on with your headset and see how the video is playing I think this is a cool way um, to, to show how VR is working <laughs> and how you know companies are now going to be using it to to tell stories uh, for me personally I am excited because it, it gives me a chance to tell stories in a different way and also be able to edit in real time in Premiere so give it a try and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'd also love to see some results of your, the videos that you've created uh, using uh, Premiere Pro and again I can't say now thank you enough to <laughs> for Adobe adding this new tool again don't forget it to access it you have to go down here to the editor the button editor and add that little thing down here the, the icon for VR toggle VR display and you can turn it on on and off so enjoy